two of the best women in the world. Well, not just two. There's a few in the UFC that are really exceptional. There's one who's really interesting. Her name is Rose Namajunas. And she's uh, an intensely, like, sweet person. She's super emotional. Like, there was a video of, uh, of me interviewing her after she just re-won her title. And I was talking about her, her mindset. See, find that on my Instagram. Because, like, w w I was talking to her be uh, after she won the title. It was this amazing thing. She knocked out this girl, Zhang Wei Li, who's this monster. She's terrifying. She's this physical specimen. And she knocked her out with a head kick in the first round. It was crazy. But before the fight, she was, like, almost in a trance. And she was standing there while they were getting ready. And she's going, I'm the best. I'm the best. She was standing there. Like, like. This is after she won the title, but give it, give us the volume. Well, this girl just got knocked out. But back it up, back it up. She, he's, that's Pat Barry. That's her boyfriend and her trainer. And he's like, "Who's the best?" She's like, "I'm the best." And so they, they, there's the, these, they, they give her the title, and then I talk to her about it. And when I'm talking to her, she's emotional, she's crying, and I cried. I totally cried. Rose, this is the first time I ever cried again. during an interview. The first time. But God did it, man. I, I really just had to have faith in him, and that's, that's what got me through. Whew. Whew. You were so focused. Before the fight started, you were standing over there, and as Bruce Buffer was saying your name, you were saying to yourself, I'm the best. I'm the best. I am the best. <laughs> See, do you understand? That has nothing to do with male savagery. That has nothing to do with male savagery. That has nothing to do with males. That has to do with someone trying to overcome all of the obstacles that are in, in play when you're trying to be great. That's what that is. It has nothing to do with men. She's like one of the most feminine people ever. She's beautiful. She shaves her head so she doesn't have to think about her hair. But if you see her with long hair, she's a gorgeous woman. She looks like a model. It's like it has nothing to do with deers. It has nothing to do with men beating each other up. It has nothing to do with brutishness. It has to do with high-level problem solving yeah. with dire physical consequences and the reward. You see the reward? She's the champion of the world. That's how beautiful oh she is. Gosh. Yeah, she's fucking stunning. Oh she's, gorgeous. Okay. she's gorgeous. She's no, gorgeous. And she is... is the champion of the fucking world. She's the 115-pound yeah. champion of the world. She's tiny. Yeah. Well, she weighs 115 for a brief amount of time. Okay. She really probably weighs like 125, and she cuts weight. Okay. That's what they do. So, that, so that, that's, she's a, a great example because she, there's nothing about her that's aggressive, nothing about her that's brutish. When, when she won the title the first time, when I was interviewing her, one, one of the things she was saying is just, we have to be better people. She looked at this message while I was interviewing her in the cage after winning a fight. And she's like, we got to be nicer to each other. That was her message. It's not, it's about transcending whatever you, whatever you think you are and becoming something better. That's what it's about. See, look at you. See, I told you. Now we're no, both crying. No, it's intense because I didn't obviously understand Most it at all. Don't. I've heard you talk about it, and it's really, I hate to say it, but deep. It's, it's very really deep. really intense, and I didn't understand because, I, you know, in my life, I work hard. I try to improve myself, and I feel like a lot of people who are really driven that way have some demons or something they're trying to prove or overcome. Um and maybe what you're doing and what you're involved in, you know, because I asked you, couldn't you just um, 